The AC for the for Lab Two is going to cost probably somewhere in the neighborhood of a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars. So I need to sell <laughs> screwdrivers, <laughs> backpacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of money. Is it okay? So, question: Is it expensive in any particular way because of the lab? No. No, it's just it's just AC is just expensive. Really, really expensive. We've had a couple of heat wavy summers here oh, in yeah. Lower Mainland, and I think there's been a little bit of, I think there's been a little bit of profiteering by the handful of HVAC contractors in our area because Probably. traditionally we haven't really needed it, and so there aren't. It's not a really well established industry here in the way that it might be somewhere like Austin, Texas. To be clear, I'm not saying we don't have HVAC companies. We do. We have air conditioning. It's just that our capacity for it is a little lower. It's kind of like how, remember uh, remember how uh, maybe like starting three, four, five years ago, we started getting like regularly these giant dumps of snow and it had been like 10 years. We ran out of salt because we have salt trucks and like salt repositories but we just weren't prepared for th yeah. that amount of snow for that extended a period of time. We, just, we didn't have the infrastructure for it. So it's the same way where all of a sudden everyone and their dog is going, oh, wow, it gets really hot here now. I guess I'll install AC. So supply and demand, baby. Yep. Yep. We got a quote for $100,000 for a creator warehouse. That tiny what? unit. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, I off. Because yeah. that's ridiculous. Oh my goodness. They wanted to put inducted air conditioning there. And I'm sitting here going, this has already got a completed tenant improvement with four discrete zones. What are you going to do? You're going to punch through gigantic holes in this building and run metal ducting? Are you an idiot? So we didn't, I don't even think we went back to that contractor <laughs> for a second quote. Because their, their suggestion was just so concerning. You just don't want to work with them anymore. Well, why would I? I've had experiences like because that. Because if they weren't complete idiots <laughs> or trying to take advantage of me, yeah. not knowing better, they yeah. would have quoted mini splits. Yeah. They're tiny areas. They're only a thousand square feet each. I was going to say, like, if you wanted a, a really rough solution, you could have gotten those like rolling ACs from Costco and, yeah. co and cooled that place. We could have cooled it with it's, that for a couple grand. It's a small place and it's very zoned out. It does not need like, yeah. So yeah. we got a new quote with mini splits and I think it was like a quarter, which is too much. But, but the mini splits is the nice solution. I'm not going to do it myself. Well, mini splits yeah. are a cheap solution. Because instead of instead of making space for giant air ducts, you just have to make space for refrigerant lines yeah. up to the roof. Yeah. You put your your outside unit up there, and then you just mount the thing to the wall, and boom, you're air conditioned. Yeah. So it's a, I was saying it's a nice solution compared to my like whole bunch of random wheelie Costco ones. Uh, Laddie says not a nice solution. A ground source heat pump could be very interesting too as a content piece if you could get details on them doing it. I had a cool idea. We were at, uh, were we at Brandon's house when I was talking to him about him? I don't know. Anyway, yes, we were. We were. We were doing Brandon's Intel Extreme Tech Upgrade. And he was upset because his Strata Council, which is a homeowners association for our, our American friends, won't allow window-mounted AC units in his complex. And he was like, well, that sucks because they're way more efficient than the floor standing ones. Also, they don't take up space on your freaking floor. Yeah. They're just objectively better. <clears throat> but the, ooh, they don't if, look nice. Yeah. Right. If you have a window to put it in. Yeah. And so I was telling Brandon, I was like, hey, um, with the way that your unit is situated, could we conceivably just stealth an outdoor unit? By instead of having a condenser, like a, a big condenser and a fan, right? Just burying like a geothermal loop in your lawn and then having some like very small stealthed compressor and like whatever an expansion, I think the expansion chamber and the compressor still have to sit in an outdoor unit. Like it, would anybody ever go on that side of your you, house? You could have, you could even have like, one you could have like some real plants and then one large fake bush yeah that hopefully it looks real and just like put it in the bush yeah because you wouldn't want it to be a real plant because it'll kill it but like yeah that'd be that'd be pretty sweet <laughs> yeah so anyway we called bc one call and it turns out that you can't just like get information about exactly and exactly where everything is in the ground i thought that was the whole point
I know. So I think, well, the point is for contractors who have experience digging properly and know how to avoid things for them to get a general mm. idea. But for just some idiot wanting to <laughs> dig a giant hole in their yard, no, they're not really set up for that. I and I don't love guerrilla infrastructure. <laughs> I don't think any um I don't think any smart contractor would risk damaging their professional reputation by just going and digging up this lawn for us <laughs> to install like a non-permitted non-authorized air conditioner but I do think it would have been amazing amazing content. Could you get a contractor to just dig up the lawn though? Not even tell them what it's for? I think the I think the strata probably wouldn't approve that either like if they won't even let you have an AC in your window, I don't think they're going to let you just turn your lawn into a dirt pile. What buttholes? Because you got to remember, part of the strata's role is a landscaping and maintenance for the complex. So they're going to notice that. So the idea There's was... a big hole now. Yeah, the idea was we like get in, rip it out, put in the stuff, cover it up, and do it all in like a day. So, we have to, so we'd have to move fast. Or overnight. Yeah. Yeah, or that. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and thanks to Secret Lab for sponsoring this week's clips. Secret Lab chairs are engineered to keep you comfy, and with up to five years of warranty and a 49-day return policy, you're covered if anything goes wrong. Head to the link in the description to get your Secret Lab chair today.